Hello. Today I'm going to explain the difference between an allylic and a vanillic carbon. Well, let's start with the vanillic carbon because you can find the allylic carbon from the vanillic carbon. So the vanillic carbon is a carbon that is involved in a double bond. So you have CC in this structure, the vanillic carbons are this carbon and this carbon because they're connected to a double bond, right? The allylic carbons is the carbon that is connected to the carbon in a double bond. So if you have this carbon and this carbon, the allylic carbons will be this one and this one because they just want to be buddy buddies with the vanillics, right? So let's do a longer example. C, 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 C. So you have two pentene. What are the allylic and what are the vanillic carbons? First, locate the double bonds. These are the double bonds. What did we say the vanillic carbons were? We said the vanillic carbons are the carbons that are connected to the double bonds that are contributing in the double bond, that are involved in it, that are playing in it. So this carbon and this carbon, those are the vanillic carbons. So what are the allylic carbons? What did we say about allylic carbons? We said, Allylic carbons are the friends of the vanillic carbons. They want to hang out with them. They want to be around them. So you're just going to go one shy away from the vanillic, and that is the allylic carbon. So here, allylic carbon. Let's do a cycloalkene. So where are the vanillic carbons and where are the allylic carbons? What would you start with? We said we would start with the vanillic carbons because they're easier to locate due to the double bond, correct? So the vanillic carbons would be the carbons that are directly connected to the double bond. This carbon and this carbon are the vanillic carbons. They're directly connected to the double bond. So where are the, vanilla, the allylic carbons? Excuse me. The allylic carbons are the carbons that are friends with the vanilla carbon. So we're going to say one shy away from the vanilla carbon. So here from this one, you have this one. That's a vanilla carbon. So this is the vanilla carbon. You say, hey, right next to it, here's the next allylic carbon. Our next one, here's another allylic carbon. This was an explanation of the difference between an allylic and a vanillic carbon. Thank you.